So, street boxing is not a complete fighting system, right? Because boxing is not a complete system. Street boxing is just it's something for the everyday man, right? Who may be going to a boxing gym from time to time, but who also may not have the time or the energy to want to be putting into learning several, several disciplines, but who wants to have enough of an advantage with his hands and, and different things that he does or, or maybe learns in a boxing gym to be able to use that in the street fight if the instance comes up. So street boxing is really just a matter of saying, okay, cool. I have my boxing techniques. There may be some different punches or some different uh, some different ways of blocking punches, like throw the one two. Right? It's different ways of dealing with it. Right? Throw, throw the throw the uh, 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 left hook. Throw the left hook. Oh. Or throw, throw the uh, right hand left hook. Right hand. Right hand left hook. Right? There's different ways of dealing with these situations and how it comes about and ways of blocking punches, ways of throwing punches, ways of getting inside, ways of utilizing different aspects of dirty boxing. And one thing is I am a propounder of dirty boxing. I don't believe in just being a cheater, but there are different places, different rules, and different types of referees. And sometimes you have a fighter who is trying to be a little sneaky, trying to do some, uh, some, some stuff that's against the rules, and you say, okay, I need to know how to protect myself in this situation if you're in the ring and also just know how to have a certain level of knowledge and self-awareness. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So like, let's say we're inside and, and I get in here, right? And I'm in this chest, so let's say I, I grab, you know, get this this, uh, this hook, this collar tie, right? And then I, you know, I can come in here with the elbow. I can come in here with this right hook right here, right? So this is still somewhat some boxing, but from here, I'm here, right? And also just the positioning and the footwork of boxing is something that can help because if I'm here, then I can grab here, then I can come there with the left hook, right? Or I could just, you know, try to scoop the leg. And you got it up out the way. But these are just the different things that, that you recognize, you understand. And when you are using boxing just as a base for some of your self-defense, then you have to understand this as well. You cannot box bullets. <laughs> you can't box bullets. But hold on, there is a thing. They even say, oh, rush, rush don't let they have a gun, but run away from them if they have a knife. I don't know too much about that saying right there. Uh, I, I say, you know what? I don't want no problems. <laughs> and you get your shit. And uh, know the laws in your area, because sometimes you might be in a state that has stand your ground, and it's time for them to go night night. That's what some people think up on you, too. So. Yeah, and you gotta get them out of there. And then sometimes, if they, 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 you know, they punk you with the gun, and then you, you get yours out and you go back after them, then that's premeditated, and your ass going to jail. So don't let people boost your head up neither to do some goofy shit. You don't want to go to jail. But I'm just saying, you know, here are some different techniques, some different mindsets to have. It's like if we're getting inside, right? We're, we're and we're and we're in here. Anytime I'm here, I can, I can move them right there. You can throw that that elbow right there. You can throw that punch right there. You can go to the body. You can go to the kidney. But don't do that in the ring. That's messed up. But you can also go right right behind his ear, right? If you ever watched Lennox Lewis, he was great for that. He'll hit people right behind the ear, mostly with the right hook, though. But you can punch him right in the spinal column. Yeah, that should be hurt. If you're in the street fight or something like that, and, and the occasion calls for it, know what tools you got to use, know how to do things, right? You, if you get that collar tie in there, right, if you're here. Because if you're here, if your head's right here, he can't hit this side of your face. He can't hit it. So, see, I have his hand right here. Right here, boom. You can hit, hit him right in his nuts. You know, hit him in the sternum. Hit him in the ear. Hit him with the elbow and across the ear. You know, street boxing is, a lot of it is just understanding different attributes and principles of dirty boxing. But everything starts with the basics and because the foundation of it is boxing. So even if we have other techniques mixed in there, we're not overly focused on kicks. Like there are like, you know, some oblique kicks and some different things like that you might learn. Sometimes it might benefit you to know how to do a teep. You know what I mean? But that's not what we're doing right now. The main thing you want to focus on is what is our foundation in our footwork in boxing, right? You know, do we know how to move? Do we know how to move to the right, to the left, front, back? Do you know how to punch and create distance by, by stepping backwards with our jab? 
Do we know how to step into our jabs moving forward, right? Do we know how to create distance, right? Do we know how to gauge where an individual is, right? These are important things. When we know how to not telegraph our punches and we come in and we're here, boom, boom. And we know how to throw our punches in a good way and in proper form without telegraphing, we're setting a foundation. And within this foundation is different things that you can learn, right? So, you know, street boxing isn't some full around, all encompassing, 100% foolproof uh, self-defense system. None is, but if there was, it would be getting into some more full on uh, uh, concentrated training in some different areas. But if you want some boxing that's gonna be a little bit more adaptable to some certain MMA situations or certain situations that are a little bit less, you know, barred, then training with me or, or studying my content when it comes to uh, street boxing or just the idea of street boxing is something that will benefit. It'll benefit, right? Because some of these things will even help you in the boxing ring, right? Uh, as a fighter, if the situation comes to it. So sometimes you can be in a situation where you're here and the left hook comes, left, left hook. And, and you understand how to flail or you understand how to use your punches or your gloves to, to, to hit somebody in their elbows, right? I mean, hit somebody in their shoulders. Let's say you're jabbing and you're jabbing to the, to the body and the chest, right? You're jabbing to the chest, jabbing to the chest, and then you move that jab to their shoulder to open them up. You open them up so that you can throw the straight right hand down the middle, right? You're, you're using control. You know, you might be here. We, we're, we're hands up, hands up right here. And I might move move your arm down so I can throw this here, right? Boom. Over here, right? Or, you know, we're here and, and there's different things that we're doing, right? So a, a lot of it is just understanding that when you understand how to control the body of the person that, that you're with and you understand and that you're in the ring with or who you're engaging with in a physical confrontation these are things that can help because it's positioning right when you understand positioning you can move around them you don't have to focus as much on and this is part of why it's for the everyday man you don't have to focus as much on your ability to circle around all kind of crazy all the time you know, and a whole out. bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of footwork yeah, you, 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 you tie yourself out the main footwork you're worried about is knowing how to move in move out side to side Right? Sometimes you do need a little bit of a pivot, but a lot of it is a game of inches. Is my foot right here on the other side of his foot? Is my foot right here? Is my foot right here? If my foot's right here, but I'm faced more towards him than he is towards me, so I'm here, then I'm in such an advantageous position. My hands damn near don't have to be up. They really don't. So when we're talking about street boxing, we're working on different things. So it's like, let's say you're throwing the one-two. 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 